First Nations TV, your news first. To acknowledge Close the Gap Day in 2024, Danella Dilba and Darren Deera Child and Family Centre partnered up and held a free community brunch in Malak. Close the Gap Day is a campaign to raise awareness of the poor health outcomes suffered by many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and the lack of resources available to them. In addition to access to healthcare, other factors including poverty, education and employment have an impact on the well-being of Indigenous groups. Danella Dorba is an Aboriginal community controlled health organisation um, and for us closing the Gap Day brings conflicting feelings. At a local level, I'm really proud of the work that Danella Dorba has been doing, um, along with our partners, many of whom are in the room today. We've been working to improve the health and wellbeing of our community here in Darwin for the past 32 years. Last year we had close to about 12,000 patients walk through or clients walk through our doors and we rolled out over 103,000 uh, client contacts through our many other programs, including our social and emotional wellbeing, child and families and our health promotion. Um, we engaged with thousands of more outside of our clinics. Uh, last year we completed about 4,700 health checks. Um, that's up by 1,300 from the previous year. We still have a long way to go before our community experiences the same level of health and wellbeing as non-Aboriginal Australians. And we also have to keep pushing and advocating for more work to be done by the government to implement meaningful policies that help us close those gaps. We're proud of the range of holistic services that we offer from our AOD residential programs right through to our family and community service programs like our um, FSS program, our family support service, homelessness outreach and of course this child and family centre. Closing the gap is not just a goal for us, it's a fundamental principle that guides everything that we do together. Um, I've come in from the community, in a little isolated community in Manyalaluk, but then I've moved to Catherine and I got sick and then I got sick again so I come up to Darwin. Dinina Dilba um, provided a lot of care for me and it's been really good that I've been visiting Dinila Dilba, attending all my appointments and I see that they've done a good service. We work on the Hippie Program, the Home Interaction Program for Parents and Youngsters at Anglicare here in Darwin um, and we love coming to Durandira and meeting new families and spending time with the community and with the amazing staff and um, service providers that come in here. It's just a really good thing to be a part of and today we bought we bought some early years toys and some books and things just to encourage families to be doing things at home or in spaces together to learn. and. Um, connect together. A Productivity Commission update for Closing the Gap was recently released, providing details that only five of the 19 socio-economic targets have been met. Some of the main targets that have still not been met include the gap in life expectancy between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal peoples, reducing the rate of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander adults held in incarceration, reducing the incidence of suicides, reducing the number of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander kids in out-of-home care and in detention. This campaign seeks to close this gap and achieve more equitable outcomes for all Australians. First Nations TV, your news first.